Hi everyone, and welcome to this drawing video. In this video, I'm trying out a glass dip pen for the first time. Last year, I worked on a few drawings with dip pens, and I ended up really, really enjoying the process, and I've been so excited to see what this pen is like. This one cost about £7.50, and looking online, there are a bunch of options and different designs, and usually they cost less than £10, which I find crazy. They're so affordable, considering they're actually handmade, and they look this awesome. Uh, this one I chose because it has this really nice deep blue colour running through the centre, and I'll be sure to zoom in so you can see the details within it. In this example, I'm using Liquid Indian ink, and I started off by testing the pen on a scrap piece of paper, just doodling and seeing what kind of line work I could get from it. After testing it out with some doodling, and thinking about the kind of drawings I could work on with this pen, I started sketching a design that I wanted to draw, featuring a skull, some roses, and blossom. Uh, it's been a while since I worked on any skull drawings as well, so I thought this would be a great opportunity to try something a bit different, while also trying out this new pen, making it a fun challenge. Once I'd completed the sketch, I added some colour and a bit of shading to it with Copic markers.
then it was finally time to use the glass dip pen to ink this whole drawing. And after testing it out earlier, I was excited to see what kind of line work I could create with it. Um, the first thing I noticed, as it's glass, there isn't any flexibility in the nib. So you don't, you're kind of restricted on the kind of line thickness you can create. You can't um, have too much variation. Uh, the only way I found was to angle the pen and that way you could create some finer lines. Before trying it out, as it's glass, I imagined it would create lines that weren't completely smooth. Maybe they would have some rough and textured areas. Uh, but I was wrong. The pen works really well, creating clean, sharp and smooth lines that I needed for this drawing, and I was honestly impressed. I also want to mention that I really enjoyed the more manual process of dipping the pen in the pot of ink. It's really satisfying, and, and it just adds an extra process that makes a nice change. One other thing that I was thinking about before trying this pen was the weight and the balance. Considering it's handmade, I, I, I wasn't sure if that was going to affect and if it would have any issues with its balance, but honestly there were no problems there. The, the weight and the balance felt just right, and it was comfortable to hold, and I found it to work perfectly well.
To add a final touch, I used a white jelly roll pen to add a few highlights. And after that, this drawing was completed. I loved using this pen, it's so awesome, and I'm really glad I gave this a try. Uh, be sure to let me know what you think of this drawing in the comments below. If you have any recommendations for different pens or any art equipment you'd like to see me try, then please let me know. And if you have any more suggestions for video ideas, then also let me know as well, I, I love hearing them. Um, if you want to see more stuff like this, then feel free to subscribe. And any likes or shares on this video, they really mean a lot to me. If you want to follow and support my progress, then be sure to check out the links in the description for my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and Patreon. And once again, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for the support. I truly appreciate it and I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you all soon.